kind of dramatic smoky purple eye look. I just wanted to really 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 be able to play with my morph palette. Okay I'm calling it morph but I've been hearing other people call it morphe so if somebody could tell me if it's morph or morphe or if it's morph and people are just saying morphe to be cute because I'm pretty sure this says morph. I love this palette. It's insane. I'm so glad that I found this um, brand company makeup whatevs on Instagram so so excited I actually just ordered a couple of brushes from them just to try those out like basic brushes so if you guys want to know about those let me know down below in the comments or on my Instagram just leave me a little comment on the picture that will be for this video um, so I hope that you guys liked it and I hope that you guys like this look if you did comment thumbs up make sure to subscribe and find me on other social media and so I'm going to start by priming my eyes with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance in Candlelight. I'm going to take this color right here as just as a base color and I'm just going to put that right on my lid. And then I'm going to take this super pretty shimmery purple color and I'm going to use this as my primary color on my lid. I'm just applying it with my eye because it tends to have a lot of fallout and I feel like it just applies a little bit better with my fingers. I'm going to go ahead and take this purple color and I'm going to go ahead and pop that into the crease of my eyelid creating a nice smoky dramatic eye. black color. It's a super matte black color. I'm going to go ahead and just really define that crease and give it a little bit more depth. I'm then going to take this shimmery purple color and I'm going to go ahead and use this angled brush and I'm going to put that right on top of where I just put that other purple just to give it a little bit more color and dimension. Of that purple fell out so I'm just gonna pop that right back in there. I'm gonna go ahead and blend those harsh lines out with this really pretty creamy color. Now I'm just gonna take this Tarte Luminizing Wand in Glow Light and it's super creamy so I'm just gonna make sure that I blend that out really well but I do really like this tool. I'm gonna do my eyebrows. Ain't nobody got time to do it on camera. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and pop in some mascara. I'm using the Balm Volumizer. It's my favorite mascara ever, but we're not done yet. So I'm going to go ahead and prime my face with my favorite primer right now, which is with uh, the e.l.f. primer, which I've used in previous videos. And then, of course, slather my face with a bunch of IT Cosmetics foundation. It's the CC Plus with SPS 50 plus which I really 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 have been loving this foundation um, it's matched my skin pretty well and it hasn't made me break out or anything so I've been using this foundation as my primary foundation next I'm using this NYX wonder stick and it's a highlighting and cardboard stick and this got a lot of mixed reviews. A lot of people did not like it, but I actually really like it, probably because I'm a little bit new to the cream contouring and bronzing, but I've really liked it and it blends really well with my Real Techniques buffer, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use it, and I really like the way that it looks. Next, I'm taking my A Cosmetics CC Under Eye concealer, which I love, love, love. And I'm going to go ahead and put that in there and I do pat it out with my ring finger and then go ahead and just blend it out really nicely with my beauty blender. Don't judge. It's Mr. Fritz. <laughs> And 
And of course, life would not be complete without my e.l.f. matte lip color. I love, 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 love this. This is my favorite lip color right now, and it's in the shade Natural. And I honestly can use this all the time, especially with the makeup, no makeup. But I'm going to head and use this nude color since the eyes are a little bit more dramatic. And I just want to say thank you for watching. You can find me on Facebook and you can also find me on Instagram. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me at those other social media places. And until next time, I will see you in the next video. Have a good day or good night, whatever it is, wherever you are. Bye! Anybody else watch WWE Divas? Because I totally do. <laughs> Who is your favorite diva? Because I really, really want to know. Mine used to be um, Natalie Eve Marie. All red, everything. All red every day. Um, but it's actually not anymore. Like, I literally stopped following her on Instagram. Like, you know, things are real when you don't follow somebody on Instagram. Okay. Comment down below who your favorite WWE Diva is. The Brie Bella because I love Brie Bella. I think she's so cute and she's so sweet and I love her and Daniel together. I think they're just like so cute, like the cutest couple and I love her style and oh and I love her hippiness and I love her dog Josie. I wish that Josie and Joe could meet and just be like the best of friends. Like that would be so cute. I'm gonna go wash all this off now that I worked so hard on it. <sighs> and I take a couple of photos. <laughs> um, I'm gonna have some feet.